It's Jeremy Williams with the Bannock Real Estate Group. And I just wanna let you know, we put together these videos because it's really important to us that we get relevant, accurate information into the marketplace as the market changes so you can make the best decisions. If you like the information we're providing, please subscribe. It makes a big difference for us. And then also, if you'd like to see a certain uh, video about you know, a certain topic, make a comment. We'd love to hear from you. With that, let's get into it. It's Jeremy Williams, broker owner of the Bannock Real Estate Group, and today I want to talk about what's going on in the market, and more importantly, what can we expect headed into the next year. So there are some changes happening, and change isn't necessarily a bad thing. We're seeing our markets start to normalize a little bit, and the good news is it's normalizing, but not too fast. So it gives us an opportunity to make some smart decisions. If you're looking to buy or sell a house, you can get a better grasp of what's going on before it unravels too fast in any direction. So one of the things we're starting to see is inventory. We've been seeing more houses come on the market than sells for the last five months straight. Well, that's a positive thing because it's still very much a seller's market, but what that does is if you're a buyer, you have more options to find other houses. Sometimes they're more negotiable. In fact, we've seen our average of 107% over asking price offers on, on average to you know, about 99, 100% right now. So that gives you a little bit more flexibility. It means that there's not as many buyers trying to buy the same house. They're dispersed over more inventory, which is certainly an advantage. In fact, if you're looking to sell your house and buy another house, the next six months is gonna be the best time to do that because you're gonna have a little bit more flexibility than you would have had the last two years. Still get a great price while it's a seller's market but be able to find a good home to replace it. Now, the other thing that we're watching is um, what's going on in each price range. Now, if you're looking to sell a home over 800,000, well, that's starting to become more of a buyer's market, and especially if you're over a million, it's an extreme buyer's market. So that generally ratchets itself down. If you're a seller in one of those categories, you certainly wanna pay attention to this because it might be a better opportunity if you're trying to maximize your price to put it on the market sooner because if that trend continues, that's gonna put pressure on the prices and you might not have, be able to get the same price in a few months as you were able to get, down, uh, get now. And I do expect that to ratchet down into some of the other price ranges, certainly affect the six and $700,000 price range uh, eventually. So pay attention to what's going on. It's important that we make decisions before anybody else knows about it. We're using real data. We're not looking on the internet, doing our searches. We're looking at what is the market locally actually telling us and making those decisions before everybody else makes the changes. So if you're looking to buy or sell a house, it's really important that you get a hold of us, even if you're looking to do something in the future to make sure you're prepared. You can reach us at 406-926 6767 and we look forward to talking to you soon.